first of all, congratulations on the film. Thank um, you. Now, you've mentioned that the director's film, That Which I Love Destroys Me, was a big motivation for you taking this role. Can you talk to me a little bit more about that and why you wanted this role? I think um, I like action movies where you can see the toll that it takes on the fighter, whether it's a first responder or in the military or in any kind of service. And I thought that Rick's understanding of what real service members go through would bring a lot of sort of empathy and heart into the larger franchise of Angel Has Fallen. Now, um, you and Gerard have great chemistry on screen Thanks. together. Can you talk to me about Mike and his wife's relationship in the film? What I think is so cool about Mike and Leah's relationship in the film is they're equals. She understands that there's much of his job that he has to keep secret and he can't share everything, but she's not afraid to press him when right. it seems like it's not good for him. And I think that's really healthy in a marriage. And I like that even though he's this kind of intimidating badass, she's not afraid of him. Now, in previous films, we haven't seen much of Banning's personal life. Yeah. Uh, and in this film, Leah and Mike have, have a beautiful relationship, but what it's revealed about Mike in this film that she's able to bring out of him? I think the toll of all this work is something that's really weighing on Mike and it's something that although when your partner loves their job, you have to be so respectful of that because I think it gives someone so much joy if they love their job, but if it's not good for them, how do you gently start that conversation. Right. And I think also the fact that we meet Mike's dad in this yes. movie and the trauma that he's been through, it also helps open another door of that conversation for Mike. It's someone that, because his dad also served, it's a place where he can talk about that with someone who understands from experience. How does how does your character feel about Mike's dad coming back into his life? Because she's very protective over Mike and some of the issues that he may have. Yeah, I think I don't think that Leah trusts Mike's dad. You know, he's abandoned Mike before and let him down, and Mike has so much going on, she wants to make sure that this isn't just a kind of flash in the pan. Right. But what's so cool is because they have a kid, I think that Leah holds out some hope that maybe his dad could be part of their life, because you want your kid to know their grandparents if there's a chance at that. And we get to see a softer side of Nick Nolte, which I kind of like too. I know, a little he's bit. so cute. And he's so funny. I, d I hadn't seen the scenes on the side of the hill until I saw the screening of the movie. And I was kind of surprised at how like silly Nick played it. Right. I loved it. I did too. I loved it as well. Um, now, what was the most emotionally draining scene for you? Actually, it's the scene where Jerry calls me after he's been arrested. Mm. I come home and our house has been ransacked and there's like police and press outside and we've been getting death threats, but a collect call comes in and it's for Mike. And I had said to Jerry like, this is like almost an impossible phone call to take. And Jerry stayed and we did the scene live. I mean, he's standing off camera to do it with me, but it was, it was the most difficult one. Interesting. Now, um, if Morgan Freeman was actually the president, how would this world be different? <sighs> it would be so great. It would be so great. And I had asked Morgan about this yesterday, but you know he um, keeps bees? He has like beehives at home. I did not know this. Yeah, he really is worried about the honeybee, and I feel like we would be, if Morgan Freeman was the president, um, environmentally, we'd be in a much better place.